I'm going to produce a very rudimentary model of a Cricut mallet. Um, so I've got a couple different items to select from here. So I've got this basic mallet, which has a round handle. Both of these have round handles, but the difference here being the mallet itself. Some have cylinders, some of them have cuboids. Uh, I'm going to go with the cuboid option, though a cylinder, as you'll see from the handle, or from the handle will be able to be done pretty easily anyway. All right, so going into, uh, let's minimize this. So here we have Blender with a default object. Um, to begin with, I'm going to hit tab on here, and now I'm going to select the face. Now if I try right clicking on an object, hitting tab brings me into the edit mode so I can actually choose vertices, edges, or faces uh, to manipulate. But I'm just going to go down here to where I can choose which type I want to select. So I'm going to face, and then I'll click over here for a face. Now I want to stretch this out. I want to scale this a bit. So I'm going to drag this out over here. And you can see this is where I just drag the face to. So it gives me a specific number. I can edit that. So I'm just going to go with minus one. And you can see it dragged it back a little bit. Now that allows me to go over to the other side, select that one, and I can say, all right, let's try one. Sorry, I still had the other face one, the other face selected. Let's go back to here, drag that out. All right, and we'll go with minus one, enter. Now I'm gonna select the other face, drag it out, and we will go with one, enter. So I've just increased the mallet to get it more of a cuboid. Now when I take a look at this, this actually looks almost like it's four cubes or at least three cubes stacked next to each other so and I just made it two of them side by side two by one so I'm going to increase that further I'm gonna to go to 1.5 and let me go back to the other side drag that over just a little bit and change this to uh, minus 0.5 now you'll notice that what I did there I didn't put negative 1.5 this is the modification, this is the translate. So I translated it, I moved it 0.5 on top of the negative 0.1 that I already moved it. Um, and you can see this dot on the edge indicating the face, the center of the face. That's in line with this red uh, and where the center of the world is, which is the, where it was at the beginning. That indicates that I actually do still have it centered. Okay, so I've got the mallet, the base mallet, but there's something else about that mallet. So when I look at that mallet, let's see. You can see it's got a beveled edge on here, and I'm going to add that too. So let's go back into here, and we'll see about adding the beveled edge. Now I could do this by just selecting one of the faces, hitting E to extrude, extracting it out, and then hitting S to scale it. S to scale it. And now I've got one of the edges, and I could do that on all the sides. However, that's a pain. So instead, let's make sure I have that. Okay, so I'm back to this original cuboid, just this rectangular shape that I have. And now I'm gonna go over to this wrench box, or to this wrench icon on the side, and I'm gonna choose to add a modifier, mirror. Okay, now I'm also going to set Y and Z for the axis, and now watch what happens when I press E to extrude. It extrudes on both sides at once. Now I'm just going to have it extrude just a little bit. Now you can see it gave me this information. Let's give it something very specific. I'll go with uh, 0.25. The reason I want that number specific is so that when I do the top and bottom and I do the front of it, uh, front and back, that I can make sure I'm going out by 0.25 each time. Okay, so now that I've done this, I'm going to scale. And let's scale it a bit. And the scaling on this, I'm going to change these all to uh, 0.5. Let's try that and see what it looks like. That's a little bit much. Let's see, what's the opposite direction? Let's go 9. Okay, that looks much better. So I have this little bit of a beveled edge starting there. Now let's add this on the same side, so, or on the top and bottom. If I click the top face, oh, and you'll see that, eh, no, I can select everything that works. All right, oh yeah, so this is the side that I edited. 
you can see over on the other side it does not have a face to select over here. The reason for that is because you're only supposed to edit from one side. So you only edit from this side and that's where your face is. If you don't see something to edit on the one side when you're in mirror mode, that's because you need to be editing on the other. All right, so now that we have that, let's select the top face. We're going to hit E to extrude again, drag it up just a little bit and make sure this is at 0.25, enter. And now we're gonna hit S to scale. We'll just drag it in a little bit so it's kind of the direction we want. And now we will make this as accurate as possible by saying 0.9 for each of the scale faces, or each of the scale vers uh, uh, axis. 0.9, 0.9. And then finally, we'll select this last one uh, for the front, E to extrude. We're gonna set that at 0.25. We're gonna scale with S, oops. And change that to 0.9, tab, 0.9, tab, 0.9, enter. Okay, so now I have this basic object. This is the mallet. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is hit tab to escape this edit mode. And from here, I want to add a cylinder so I can get this handle going. So I'm going to hit space, add cylinder. Have, hitting space brings up this menu and you can just start typing the idea of what you want. So in this case, I know I want a cylinder, so let's type in cylinder. CYL, it came up with these options. So I'm going to go with add cylinder. Now, it's added it to the exact same spot, so you actually can't see it right now. I'm going to drag up, and you can see here it is. Now, that handle is kind of huge, so I'm going to scale this down. Let's drag it about halfway, like maybe there. Hit S, and that seems reasonable. What is that, 0.591? Let's change it to a solid number that's more accurate, uh, just so we have specific numbers. Let's go with 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to drag this up just a little bit more, so it's like right near there, there. And now I'm going to hit tab again, select the top face of this, and drag it up. All right. So here's my croquet mallet. And that's it. That's all it takes. Save it and you're good to go. Maybe add UV maps by just saying add UV map. Uh, aside from that, you should be good to go.